Hello everyone! Today I want to add my bit of showing that you can actually move in a corset, or stays in my case. For this I'll be doing some pole dancing. I'm still a beginner, but I can at least show you some moves. The kind of pole dancing that I do is not necessarily very much dancing. Uh, the studio I train at is more of showing you cool tricks. So that's what I'll be doing. Uh, my idea is to do some simple spinning and then slowly climb into the pole, do an invert. My idea is to first show you what it looks like without any corset, just in my regular pole dancing clothes. Second, I will be showing my Regency short stays. Um, I mean, they're short stays, so they don't cover the entire torso, but there is a wooden busk in here and multiple bones. But other than that, yeah. I'm really curious how this one will turn out. And last but not least, I'm going to show you what those moves like in my fashion corset. This was the very first corset I ever made. Yeah, I still quite like it, but this one is fully boned. It's a long one. So yeah, curious what that will look like. Without further ado, let's get dancing. As always, for any kind of sports, we start by doing a bit of warming up. As you might notice with the lighting, I recorded these bits on three separate days. It is a bit much to perform all of this in a single day, and especially with my lack of core strength due to back issues, I decided that three separate days would work best. The idea is as follows. I'm going to start by doing some simple spins, mostly straight upper body. First, no corset. Then, with the fashion corset. And lastly, the stays. As you can see, no problems with this bit. Then, let's see how well we can fold up. Let's try a martini. Pull slipperiness is a thing, but in this case it is all about the folding, so sliding down doesn't matter as much. This is also going surprisingly well. It can be performed in all three ways. After that, the inverts. I just learned the butterfly, so of course I'll have to show that one off. I'm going to do that in a helicopter butterfly combo. For inverting, you try to kick as little as possible and invert all on the upper body strength. I'm still working on that, but it's already getting somewhere. This one also went pretty well. Time to do a bit of goofing off.
as you can see, except for this very last move, I can perform any of the moves, no matter what I'm wearing. They go about the same. Whether I'm not wearing a corset at all, or whether I'm wearing the stays or the fashion corset. You might have seen me reach for my stays at one move, where I annotated the giant ripping sound. That was because I actually heard a ripping sound. Apparently my stays did not particularly like me reaching up and then putting force on them. Because as you can see, this ring kind of slipped down a bit. And actually, I don't particularly mind. Um, <laughs> these stays are for a LARP, so any repairs that I do on this only add more character. And this is something that's quite easy to repair. But back to the topic. I didn't die. I could perform the moves no matter what I was wearing. So I think this has actually been quite a success. That last move, the drama queen, I could not perform because for that you really want to hunch over with your full torso. And the stick that I used as a busk was poking too much in my ribs. That wasn't really comfortable. But other than that, I think especially with inverting, I actually enjoyed having my uh, fashion corset on. That one supports my entire torso and I have some issues with hyperflexibility in my hips which makes that my core is not as strong as it should be, which in my case causes back pain. But this fashion corset actually supported my core, which made some stuff like inverting actually go a bit easier because, well, I had some support already. Though still, it's not, <laughs> it's not my favorite way of doing a pole dance lesson. I mean, it's still really warm compared to, well, pretty much the bikini amount of clothing that I'm usually wearing. And for moves such as the outside leg hang that I showed at the end, it is beneficial to have skin that can rub against the pole to have more friction so that you can actually hang on the skin of your side. So can't really recommend pole dancing with full corset on but it is definitely doable and I'm honestly surprised how well I could bend in this. As you can see, the fashion corset also bent along a slight bit. I saw some bunching up fabric, so this actually bent along a bit. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. That was a lot of fun to record. It was definitely a lot of fun to do and I'm quite surprised. I actually thought it would be slightly more difficult to do these moves in stays or corset, especially the stays with the busk poking in my ribs, but that turned out to not be a problem at all, except for that very last move. So I hope you enjoyed watching, I hope you're enjoying these bloopers that I will be editing under this. And if you like these kind of videos, do hang around and I hope to see you guys next time.